Glasgow, the remaining shipyards are undergoing their biggest transformation in decades, including steering their aging ships into the digital age. A new 200 million pound shipyard is being built on land reclaimed from the Clyde on the site of an old wet basin. And, within the existing production shed, a new steel cutting production line will transform the early stages of shipbuilding. The Glasgow Times was taken on a tour of BE's Govan shipyard where the latest Type 26 frigate is being built. HMS. Cardiff is on hard stand and is expected to be ready to sail later this year. HMS Belfast is taking shape in sections in the construction and outfitting hall, and HMS Birmingham is still in its early stages after cutting the first steel last year. HMS Glasgow, the first of eight, is currently at Scottsdown being fitted out. Simon Lister, managing director of BAE Systems Naval Ships, said what was underway was the biggest investment in 40 years. He said, this is a substantial investment. We are building first-class ships, but we are also rebuilding the shipyard to be fit for the future. The biggest investment is a large new ship hall which, when completed, is expected to be completed around autumn 2025, will be able to accommodate two Type 26 frigates side-by-side. The building will be 56 m high, 180m long and 80m wide. It will have two 100-ton cranes to lift materials into place and two 20-ton cranes to operate at a lower height. A new steel panel cutting production line is being installed in the construction hall. Ewan Fullerton, head of manufacturing engineering, said, This is state-of-the-art, world-class technology. He said it was a sophisticated robotics system automated by programmers on site.m, or Fullerton added. We are retraining and upskilling the workforce to use the new technology. Mark Cosgrove, production manager, said, We are upskilling rather than bringing in from outside. They are steel workers. The cumulative effect of this investment is that the ships will be built much faster and as a result will cost less. M. Our lister said, the quicker you build them, the cheaper they are. The time to build the frigates is expected to be reduced from 96 months to 60 months. AT the end of the process. Mr. Lister said the Royal Navy would have eight new ships, the best in their class. He said, the Type 26 is very well equipped for stealth technology. Everything about the ship, he explained, is designed to reduce noise and allow it to slip through the water efficiently and silently. The aim is to give the ships that will detect submarine threats to the UK and NATO a sonar range advantage. The Type 26 project is due to run until the mid-2030s and the investment is designed to take the shipbuilding work beyond that. As well as infrastructure, BAE is investing to ensure its shipyards have the highly skilled workforce needed to build the ships, which will involve a large